Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Big Draco, Soldier Boy. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome. What's poppin'? This hey. motherfucker smell like two pounds of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> smell like the loudest cuss you could find in New York this morning, sir. <laughs> yes, Is this Soldier Boy's first time on the Breakfast Club? Yeah, it's my first time. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. All these we've been on for eight years. I know. And, and now you, you decided so to come? much going on. Yes. And this is your first time here. So first time, man. I I'm, I'm, I'm feel good. I'm glad to be here. Thanks look, for having let me. Let me look at your nostrils. Let me look up and make sure. What's in his nostrils? No coke remnants. So yeah. <laughs> just the weed smell. Yes, sir. Why do you think Soldier Boy used coke? I don't think. I just that's what the internet say. Where that, where those rumors start? Those rumors started with um a video from Cash Stacks. I was in Atlanta and she I had some Tylenol pills on the table mm. and she crushed the Tylenol pills up and she made a video on her cell phone and said I was doing cocaine. I remember that now. Yeah, and it leaked on the internet and. You know, it started the rumor, but I never did cocaine in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's been presented to you, though. You've been in Hollywood for a little while as well. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it, but I've never used it. What made you What made you mess with Cat Stacks? There were so many rumors. Cat Stacks? Yeah, Cat Stacks. Um, man, she just was viral at the time. Man, you know, you're young, <laughs> dumb, with money. I just wanted to see what it was about. You know, she was all over the internet with every other rapper. Mm -hmm. so I just DM'd. So you wanted your shot. She, yeah, I'm like, what's up? Pull up. What you, let me gracious. see what this is about. If it's, 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 like, it's like a status symbol almost. Like, yeah. It's like buying a Gucci headband. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you do it because you can do it. Yeah, it was, it was. It was. it turned out to be a nightmare, though. It was like one of the, you know, a bad mistake, you know what I'm saying? So but, in retrospect, if you could go back in time, you wouldn't have done that. I mean, at the end of the day, everything is written already from the beginning to the end of your life. So I, it's nothing I could have changed. You know what I'm saying? So I just look at it as me living and learning from a mistake that I made. And it made me a better person, you know, not to. So the net wasn't worth it? <laughs> no, it wasn't worth it. Okay. Well, since you said net worth, let's talk about that. Because we were talking about your net worth earlier. Okay. It says you're worth $30 million. Mm -hmm. And Charlemagne doesn't believe it. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. That could be your net worth. I'm just saying you don't have that in your bank account. Like, the internet say I'm worth like 10, 15, uh -huh. but I don't have 10, 15 million in my bank account. Of course, account. yeah. The net worth is different from what you have in your bank account. Yes. So you say you had the biggest comeback so far. I did. Bigger than Tiger. Yeah. So break that down for us. What makes you say that? Um, It's in the proof is in the pudding. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, like you know, I had the biggest comeback of 2018, period. Well, you, you did it. Were you really down before that and bounce back, you're saying? Cause down and bounce back? No, I Cause just... Because that's a comeback, you know? A it's comeback? like you were down and then you bounce back. No, as far as me, I just feel like, you know, I went through a... I, I, I look at that, like, when I say comeback, I'm not meaning like, oh, I fell off and I had to get back on. Not like that. I'm saying... What is this? Your gum. Oh, it's a movie. It's a motion picture. Look, <laughs> so I'm not saying... I'm not saying that, you know... I had the biggest comeback. I'm just saying, like, yo, 20, 20, 2016, 2017, I got into all them problems with the Migos and Chris Brown and Shia LaBeouf and this person, that person. And I was presented in such a way where people counted me out. You know, they was like, yo, what's up with Soldier? And, 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 and you know, he, he, you know, he, you know, I just heard, I just hear a lot of people talking. Mm -hmm. you I don't know think they were counting you out. They were just laughing at you. They weren't taking you serious. Yeah, I mean, not even that. Even before that, like, okay. I came out with Crank That. Oh, he gonna be a one-hit wonder. I come out with Turn My Swag On. Oh, he can't do it again. I come out with Kiss Me Through The Phone. Nah, he can't do it again. I come out with Pretty Boy Swag. Nah, and I go Platinum. Classic records. Then I go Diamond. Yeah. Then I, you know, then I come out with Nigga We Made It with Drake. And I come out with Yes Bitch Yes with Nicki Minaj. And they just keep doubting me and keep doubting me. So I'm not saying as far like, like, you know, I was doing my thing. I been doing my thing, but, but you know, I was perceived in a fucked up way, you know what I'm saying? So my bad for cussing. Was, a lot of that was your own doing, though. No, it was just me. Defend you were doing some clown stuff, though. I mean, I was he young. He was also young. He was like yeah, six, yeah. 17, 18 I was, years old. I was, I was young. You know, I mean, I, I, I'll be tripping sometimes. Mm -hmm. I yeah. admit that. I'll be tweaking sometimes. And, and when you say but, come... But it, not to cut you off. I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say, when you say comeback, uh, you know, you got to say comeback from what? Because we, you were introduced as a musical artist. So a comeback would be another monster hit in 2018. That's why they say Tiger had the biggest comeback because he came back with a big record. Okay, Tiger had a record, but what else did he have? Like, okay. Number one record. Okay. I, we, who, who in the industry hasn't had a number one record? A lot of people. I there's a lot of people who haven't had a number one. <laughs> who hasn't had it? I have. I have plenty number ones. Mm -hmm. You're know one what of I'm the blessed ones, soldier. Thank God for that. <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> right? people who have not had number one records. But but I my comeback was 
People counted me up with the Chris Brown beef. They laughed at me. They thought it was a joke. I started this internet. I started the wave. I'm the reason why these new artists get signed. I'm the reason why it's a little pump. I discovered Chief Keef. I'm the one, I'm the first big artist that worked with Lil B, Chief Keef, Riff Raff, the, everybody. Anybody, any of these artists that's hot right now, Rich the Kid used to sleep on my couch. Famous Dex, I was the first person to fly Famous Dex to L.A. He was stacks on Deck Money Game before he signed the Rich the Kid. I don't know if that's a good thing. Why don't you sign all these artists then? Because I'm not no fuck nigga. I'm not, I'm not the person that's going to put your career in my hands and you don't. You flop or something go wrong in, in your career and you looking at me, you want to kill me. I'm not going to be the bad guy, but I'm going to put you in position to get money. I'm going to shed light on you and I'm going to let my fans... I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna introduce you to my fan base, which is millions. I'm solidified ten years in the game. You know what I'm saying? I try to put these artists in contract. I try to do the right business. You know what I'm saying? But I was young. I was dumb. I I promote the artists before I put them on paper. I do a song with them, shout them out, and then they'll go and sign. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I had to learn the game. Now I got them in contract. Now I got my record label. Now I'm doing it the right way. You know what I'm saying? I'm older. I had to learn. You know what I'm saying? But I started this, bro. Why y'all think y'all got this camera? Charlemagne, why you think y'all got all these cameras in here right now? Why you think you got that camera right there looking at me right now? Oh, no. I've I been doing this YouTube. I was the first artist on social media. I agree media. with you on that. 100%. I was the first artist on YouTube. The I, first artist. I agree with you. These record labels that. set their blueprint behind me. I'm the reason why they streaming right now. I've always... When I first came out, they said hip-hop was dead. They said I killed hip-hop. Why? Because I produced Crank That and I wrote Crank That and it sold 15 million ringtones. And it went diamond. Mm -hmm. It sold 10 million copies. The, the first ever song to ever do that digitally. That's why I killed hip hop. And all 100% of the money came to me and I ain't had to split it with nobody. They mad at me because I made $7 million in one year in 2010. I always admired your internet hustle, especially when you was uh naming your songs you was going on people's oh, you yeah. was naming your songs other people's songs <laughs> so if you even typed in 50 cent in the club it would be like a soldier yeah. boy tell them record i always yeah. thought that was a, a, a honorable hustle and to be fair like a lot of young artists that are doing something different that people aren't used to they always say this person killed hip-hop mm -hmm. they do that all the time when yeah. it's something that's no when i first came in i got it the worst though mm -hmm. you did i got it the worst though from ice t from Snoop Dogg, from all the OGs, was like, what is this bullshit? What is he doing? Now, look at everybody. They collab. They love the new generation. I had to take them bullets. Everybody doing a song with a dance to it. Everybody yeah. working. Everybody doing what I did. They laughed at me. I agree with all that. They, but they laughed at me. They said I killed hip hop. And now they doing exactly what I did and shun me. And shun, I'm being shunned upon. I agree I'm, the, I'm the reason y'all doing this. I'm the reason why all these artists have social media. Y'all should thank me. Every artist in the game, all y'all record labels, y'all owe me 5%, bro. <laughs> Big Draco! <laughs> Big Draco! Y'all all owe me a percentage, bro. I don't care, yo. Y'all gonna respect it. Y'all ain't gotta like me. I ain't did nothing to nobody my whole career, bro. But try to help people and make fun music and be this happy young kid and show y'all this shit. But y'all want not fucking listen to me, bro. Y'all want not y'all ignore me, bro. Y'all laughed at me, bro, and shitted on me, bro, like I was nothing. And now I'm back with a vengeance, bro. I agree with that. You just didn't have the biggest comeback in 2018. In order to have the biggest comeback, you got to come back with a massive hit. Because you are a musical artist. Yo, Charlamagne. Tiger had a record. Tiger? <laughs> Tiger? Okay. Tiger? <laughs> this nigga sitting right here talking about Tiger. The nigga that lost his bitch to Travis Scott? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh Holy shit. The nigga, that, the nigga that Travis Scott netted in the bitch and got her pregnant. Damn. Holy shit, Big Draco. Uh, that, 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 him? He had the biggest comeback? Shit. Because what? He did a record with Nicki Minaj? Nah, the joint with Offset. Taste. Taste. The, the joint with Offset. Nigga, you know how many songs I got with the Migos? Even after the You beef? know how many videos I got with the Migos? You still cool with them? Don't pull out the drink. Don't pull out no gun now. Uh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful now. What's going on here? Pulling up some DMs in his Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my God. What they say? Drake on, I haven't seen him yet. He about to show us. Maybe you and Tiger could do a song together. I love Tiger. <laughs> it don't sound like I it. I can't wait to do a record with him. But at the same time, oh you ain't had no biggest comeback than me, bro. And it just is what Musically, it is. Musically, he did. See, Musically. I didn't even say Tiger. I, I said musically. I said it was Meek Mill. This is from Takeoff. Miss you, brother. All love. Keep doing your shit, young legend. That was yesterday at 4.11 p.m. Okay. So okay. no beef there. Okay. Yeah, squash the beef. I okay. love the Migos. What about Chris Brown? I never had no... 
Me and Chris Brown talk. That's over. Okay. So that's, that's, what was that? Yeah, what, this your, was this that? your hotel key. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell anybody it was the Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that between us. <laughs> I'm, gonna Express. Keep, I'm gonna keep that between us. <laughs> so what happened with Chris Brown? Hey, right, Charlamagne, I love you, man. You're, you're so funny, man. I love what you, What was man. the problem with Chris and the Migos? Why, why were you... Okay, so you really want to go through this again? Yes, All right, sir. boom. Who, which one to go through first? Who? Anyone you want to start with. <laughs> um, Chris Brown, boom. I seen a picture of Carucci, Karu- and, and I liked the picture. He his, and that wasn't his girlfriend anymore, right? That was his ex-girlfriend at the time. At the time, I'm presuming, <laughs> you know, that was broke up, you know, and I, I liked the picture, and, uh, you know... I got a call from Chris Brown on FaceTime, and he just was just going going off on me like, "Yo, what the fuck, nigga? You better stop liking her pictures." And I'm just like, "Bro, um, I didn't know that y'all was still together. You know, I'm sorry, my bad." But you isn't know? that against guy code if that's his ex anyway? I mean, at the end of the day, if you were see y'all cool, it, if y'all friends, y'all yeah. friends, yeah, we were friends. We yeah, went on, t- we went on tour. Mm-hmm. It's such a it's that's such a tricky thing, Angela. I, to just be so real with you, it's so tricky because like I've dealt with this situation before in the past. Like the same situation with well, him. fucking other guy, your your friends' girls. Not just with the, like with Rihanna. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's like the same shit. So it's just like here we go again. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the phone with him, and I'm just telling him like, yo, I just like the picture. It wasn't nothing. I didn't mean. You know what I'm saying? I just right. like the picture. I didn't think nothing of it, Ange. If I knew that it was gonna cause a beef, and he was gonna call my phone and say he wanna fight me, I would have never liked Karuchi picture. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it was that deep. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I was trying to holler at her, and then I just liked the picture. Like that's like right. like sis. Like hey sis, like. So you looking good, like, sis. You on fleek right now. Here go a like, a double tap. If like one of your friends like Nia Riley's deep. picture. Would that be a problem? That's cool, Nia Riley. That's she's famous now. Like you know what I'm saying? She got she's famous. Of course, everybody's gonna like her picture. Like what do you uh, like? What do you expect? So how did y'all get to that level where y'all wanted to smoke? Like y'all supposed to have a celebrity boxing match? You and Chris like? <laughs> he what was happened? Training. What happened? So basically, <laughs> what happened? He called my phone and he said he want to fight. Fight you through the phone. I said okay, cool. He he said he said I'm gonna call Adrian Broner and I'm gonna set the the fight up. That's what Chris, Chris Brown Why said. Why Adrian Broner of all people? I don't Adrian know. Broner's I guess the promoter. I guess, promoter. I guess, okay. I guess him and CB was cool. I don't know. He said I'm gonna call Adrian Broner and set the fight up. I said okay, cool. CB set it up, my nigga. I guess he thought I was gonna say like no, bro. Or something. I was like yeah, whatever, my nigga. You can, we can fight. I don't get no fuck. Boom. And AJ, AB call. And he was like yo, uh, let's do the fight. And he was trying to give me like a million. And I was like bro, that's too like. Like, bro, I'm not finna fight Chris Brown for no million. That's too cheap, bro. Who you think I'm is? Nigga, I'm Soldier Boy. Nigga, you think this Soldier the, Boy! You think Tell this, him. You think this the alley oop? So, boom, I called Floyd. I was like, yo, this nigga CB wanna fight me. You gonna set it up for me? Floyd was like, I give you like seven million. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, cool, that sounded about right. Mm-hmm. So we set the fight up. I signed the paperwork. And then Chris Brown backed out. He ain't signed the paperwork. That's the end of it. So it was Chris that backed out? Yeah, bro. You could Google it. TMZ and all that shit. He ain't signed the paper. My contract signed. Carl Wack 100. He got the contract right now. His file still to this day. Have you seen Chris Brown since then? Yeah. And what happened? And shit, not a damn thing. Did y'all speak at least? Yeah, it's over with. That's Did over. I just tell you that? That's <laughs> right. Don't make him repeat himself. <laughs> Shut up. Don't you make Big Drake go repeat his motherfucking self. <laughs> nah, Shalom, nope. man. We good. Then what about with the Migos? The Migos. I just showed you the t- Yo, so y'all good. Yeah, I don't even know what happened. Why y'all were beefing at all? Okay, so I, I was talking to this girl named India Love. There's always I, a girl involved. Yeah, and we was talking for like a couple years, you know what I'm saying? We was cool, you know? And we was, we was cool for like two, three years, and... Yachty called me one day. I posted a picture of, of her. We was on a we was on a TV show on BET called uh, the West Brooks or some shit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I did a TV show for her, and I posted a picture from the TV show on my Instagram. Lil Yachty called me and he was like, "Bro, you gotta take that picture down. That's my shorty." Wooty woo woo. So before I even said anything to Yachty, right? Y'all listening? Yeah, yep. I'm listening. I call I call I call India and I'm like, "Yo, you." You you dating Lil Yachty if it's, if you know what I'm saying I'll take this shit down. She like I don't even know Lil Yachty like. Oh really? She like I they were dating. She like I never even met I never met him before like I never even seen met him in person. So at this point I'm furious you know what I'm saying I'm like what like is this nigga trying to play my guy? So I call him back and I'm like yo my nigga what's up you want beef or something like you want smoke and it, and it started from there and the Migos got mad at me because I went at Lil Yachty. You know what I'm saying but Migos always been my brothers though bro like when that was the first niggas I I flew them to L A. I was the first rapper to flew them to LA. They stayed at my house. So don't you I was feel, in, do you feel no, 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 like no, 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 no. I was in the Versace video. Right. Drake wasn't even there. He was on the song. I was in the Versace video. Drake ain't even show up. I love the Migos. They'll tell you that shit. 
Did you feel betrayed no, when they not, took Lil no, Yachty's no, side no, for a no, second? No, 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 you're not listening. She's not disputing you. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 y'all not listening. Don't talk over You're disputing yourself. She's not disputing you. Y'all not listening. Y'all not listening. Y'all better listen to Soldier. Y'all not listening to Migos. That beat Versace, that was my beat. Oh, you gave him the record? That was my beat. You made the beat? Go on YouTube and type in Soldier Boy, Teach Me How to Swag, part two. It got three, four, five million views on that same beat. Zaytoven gave us the same beat. That's how me and Migos met. Uh-huh. Mm. I called them niggas and I, I was like, yo, nigga, that's my beat. What's up with y'all niggas? Oh, my bad, bro. You know how Zaytoven do. He sent every rapper in the game the same beat. And I was like, okay. Well, y'all know what? We got to make some music together. We got cool after that. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That was 2012, nigga. I knew the Migos before the Drake did. I'm the nigga that put Drake. You like a godfather of hip hop. Oh God, so to speak. I am. Soldier? I am. It's facts. Yeah. It sounds crazy when people sit back and listen, cause they be like, "Yo, this nigga crazy." He did. No, I'm just that nigga, and it's just facts. It sounds so unbelievable that I didn't did it, but I really didn't did it, my nigga. Now let's let's go through some of your most famous lies, right? <laughs> lies or lies? Lies. Okay, lies. Now you announced you had a four hundred million dollar deal with the World uh, Poker Fund. That was Fund. facts, nigga. What is what? You said it was an eighty million a year contract for five years for in flight gaming. Nigga, Google it. I still got the contract right now. What are you talking about? Well, a the, lie. Co- the company said it turned out that it was just shares that were valued at two point five million. Same thing. Well, millions is millions, bound baby. <laughs> no, no, soldier. Millions, <laughs> millions is not millions. 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 You can't say four hundred million, 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 million and the stock is only two point five. Millions That's a big is, difference. Millions is millions. My baby. <laughs> All right, if the IRS come to you with that shit, I bet you'll change your tune. <laughs> you got a $20 million tax lien. No, no I just millions and millions. Come on, man. Money is money, Shaw. So that was a real deal. It just wasn't. That was real, Charlotte. It wasn't it the initial wasn't the number amount. you said. Yeah, but it was real, though. Next one, Charlotte. All right, what about when you posted a sonogram and announced you was going to be a father? I got finessed. Bitch finessed me, You thought you were going to be a father. I thought I was going to be a father. Bitch sent me a fake baby picture, tried to get some, some money out of me for abortion. It wasn't, it was fake. Thank God I posted that because the internet told me it was fake. Thank y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. I posted it. I was like, nigga, this is fake. So you were I'm, excited. You yeah. You were going to be a dad. I'm a bitch. I'm like, bitch, the internet said this shit. Oh. But wait, hold on. Now back up. How did you think you were going to be a dad oh, when man. she was asking for money for an abortion? I fucked the bitch. No, but I'm saying <laughs> she wasn't going to have the baby. Yeah, you can't. No, you don't understand how she's a You're not listening, Yee. <laughs> yee, you not listening. You're not listening, Yee. You're not listening, she Yee. Bitch, yee. If she's saying she's having an abortion, you're not going to be a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what did you talk about? All right, so listen, check it out, Ange. Look, look, Ada, we're going to slow Explain down. Explain her how this version of these things work. Yeah. I, I, I fucked Draco. the girl. <laughs> right. I, th- I thought she was pregnant. Right. She sent me a picture of a baby like she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. Sonogram. 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 Right. And she said, give me this amount of money so I can get an abortion. I'm pregnant. Mm-hmm. I posted it on the internet, and the internet said it was fake. Right. So I called a bitch. I said, bitch, this is fake. I ain't giving you no money for abortion. You're not pregnant. You try to finesse me. <laughs> you get it now? No, I get it. Raw? But what I'm saying is you said you posted it. You thought you was going to be a dad. I did. Not if she's having an abortion. She wasn't going to get the abortion Yo, unless Sergeant gave her the money. Okay. money. But why You're are you not listening to It costs more to have ends, a baby ends, than to ends, have an abortion. But why are you hitting these girls raw? I'm young Draco, man. Fuck that shit. Oh, man. my God. I want to feel that shit, man. I'm trying to go. Bye bye. I'm trying to. You still hitting raw now? Man, sometimes. This guy is crazy. The last man. time you had an STD, STD, never. STD young Draco. Oh, oh, uh, other day. I'm Gucci. The Every other day. day. No, you first you said never now. No, nah, I thought you said, have you ever had an STD? I said never. Oh, okay. uh, STD test all the time, nigga. Okay. Young Draco, I'm rich. I got the doctors, physicians, they pull up all that. Come on, man. Are Don't... you still in a relationship? Because you aren't married. You don't see me camp. on TV? Okay, you seen it then. <laughs> Who calling Big Draco this time of morning? <laughs> no, somebody from New York. Weed, man. Now, we did see... <laughs> That's I that watched is. the first episode of Marriage Boot Camp, so I'm getting into it, right? Right. Now, let's talk about the trailer because we see Nia Riley oh, saying, shit. saying that That you... shit making a lot of noise, man. That shit hollow as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you just, never heard, you just never had a lot of chains on top of each other. Anybody, any rapper in the game that wear their chains on top of each other, they're going to do like that. I'm sorry. It don't matter who it is. From that Migos, sound real to you, Envy? They're going to do that. Anybody chains going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Every chains is small, they can't hit their feathers. Damn. Oh, yeah. your, your shit is small too, and it's a rich bro. I don't have one. If you got some chains and they big like this, they gonna Let come on, see. my nigga, feel that. That's that's drip. That's stacks on that. How it feels? Okay. Feel. That's SOD. Pause, that's pause. PTE. That's 3D diamonds. You tripping? It's a bust down roadie, nigga. That's eighty thousand. Nigga, this star right here, twenty thousand. Nigga, you tripping? They had you on that fake watchbusters.com. Yeah, plenty of times, but right now this is real though. Right this now, right, <laughs> right now, I'm, right now I'm in the game. I was on there. I, a nigga gave me a fake AP for my birthday. I, I ain't gonna put him on the bus. The nigga in the, in the industry gave me an AP. I thought it was real. As a gift. As a gift. I took a picture of it. and They put me on. It's all good. Who my nigga. Who was it? Put him on. I ain't, blast. Put, I ain't gonna do him like that. 
I ain't gonna do him like that, but you know. Did they, he know it was fake? You look clean though. You look like money, Big Draco. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Charlotte, man. I got my new video game. You know what I'm saying? They say that shit counterfeit as fuck too now. Yeah, Stop. They, they always hate on the black entrepreneur. They, they'll, they'll give props to the Asians at Nintendo, the white people at Xbox, white people at PlayStation, but a black entrepreneur to come out with a rapper, the first rapper to come out with his own video game, they're gonna say it's counterfeit and it's this and that. They're gonna try to shit on me, but I'm gonna keep striving and you know doing my thing because I made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in one day. You, you know keep what I'm saying? Changing that, that number now. I know. It, that it, was keep going, it keep going down. It keep going up with my phone. I'm gonna show you the down, receipts right going now. Up. Is I'm gonna Nintendo you. suing you for that video game? I can't. My lawyer said I can't speak on that. I'm sorry, Envy. Complex <laughs> has an email set up called <laughs> SoldierWatchTip at gmail.com for anyone who's ordered this Soldier Boy Soldier products Boy video game. but haven't received them. This is them. the Soldier Boy video game right here. It's a console. You know what I'm saying? It's a console. Why are they saying it's like a? Boot? How much I make yesterday, Charla? Uh, how much did I make yesterday, how, how Charlotte? Much you Boy, if you don't stop yelling at me, how much? How much did I make yesterday? It's two hundred. <laughs> it's two hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars, six hundred and four dollars and eighty-eight cents. Thank you. Soldierwatch.com. It's Order a Google your, image, though. Order your video. No, it's not. I'm just it's a Google <laughs> image. <laughs> Come on, man, I do this. What it say, Envy? You can swipe through it, it say, do your thing. I'll swipe through it, tell them. Yeah, yeah, say two. But are people receiving their products, it's though? Yes, it's they are. Bad. Complex yeah. got This is what happened. This is what happened. Sales, yeah. I put up the video game. I thought it would only sell like 500 copies, 200 copies, not a lot. We got like a fucking... 1000 10 20,000 orders and it got backed up you know what i'm saying i didn't i didn't i didn't expect it to go that to sell that much so you know what i'm saying order. so we got backed up but so your, your product is on the way so what games can it play it could play Super Mario. It could play Sega. It could play Mortal Kombat. It could play Sonic. It could play Kirby, Pokemon. It comes with 800 pre-installed video games. But isn't that like trademark counterfeit? Yeah, they and they're like, all licensed. Uh, so, oh, you so, clear, license so you clear the license. Yes, yes sir. Oh, so they can't but, so, but they said they that can't. you removed the console because of threats of criminal charges <laughs> they for said, breaking the trademark they counterfeit. They said, they said a lot of shit. So you that know, ain't true. What really happened was we got sold out in Charlotte. So why did you remove the console we, off the... We, uh, do you know what sold out means? Yeah, but it would usually still have the console and say sold out. Like, you took it off all together. Because I want the re-release version 2, which if you will go to SoldierWatch.com right now, and you will see that one up there. Oh, you got an answer for okay. you for everything. They say Soldier Watch is just a fake Apple Watch. Is that true? Yeah, they say Android is a, is a fake Apple uh, iPhone. They say right. a lot you of stuff. Where you get this money from it, right? They say a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, my product is legit. My product is assembled in China, just like the iPhone. If you turn your iPhone around and look on the back, it says what? Assembled in China. So why are they not? Why are they knocking me for getting my product made in China? But you're praising the iPhone is overpriced ass shit. Let me see. They doing the same exact thing, taking a fucking iPhone. Yo, the, you know how much it takes to make an iPhone in China? How much? Eight you know? dollars. I don't know. Probably you know? twenty dollars. No. This shit you know? made in Cali Park. Do you know how? <laughs> Shut up! It don't say made in Cali Park. I love you, Charlie. You funny? Are you? Do you know how much it costs to make an iPhone in China? How much? Like twenty dollars. Thank you. And they sell it for how much over here? Too much. A thousand. How much? Too seven, much. Eight. How much? Thousand. How much? Yeah, nine hundred. How much is that in profit? Like nine hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So who really is the bad guy? Me or Apple? Thank you. I don't. Even, I don't even know what you just did, but um, <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about your personal life. Let's talk about Because you are it. on marriage boot camp. Yes. With Nia Riley, are you guys still together? You gotta watch the TV show. We TV okay. every Thursday night at 10 o'clock. Tune in. I don't want to spill the beans. What we saw, the, we saw the preview where she was saying that you were threatening to... And this is for y'all. Y'all can... Well, well, commit I'm, suicide. Y'all, I'm going to talk to you. My bad, Ange. What? <laughs> we saw the preview where she said you were threatening to commit suicide and all of that. And mm -hmm. um, You can't it did kill seem yourself, very, It did seem very harsh the way that she came at you. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, what's really going on with that? Like, have you been making threats like that to her? Were you ever serious about that? Um, I don't want I don't want y'all to be too hard on her. I think she got a lot of backlash in the media for saying that to me on the trailer of the show. You know, um, when you're in love, you say things that you don't mean. You know, in a heated argument, when things get intense, you text, you say stuff that you can't take back. And, you know, you you wish you didn't say. But when it comes to the suicide thing, it's, it's not a joke. I apologize to all my fans already, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll I will apologize here on the Breakfast Club again. I was in a dark, deep, dark time and. Love do make you do some crazy things, and I was going through it, and, and and I was going through it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm stronger now. I'm in a way better place. I don't think I would ever fall back into that mood or zone or space that I was in. But um, it's very serious, and you know, rest in peace to Mac Miller, and um, you know, sh um, shout out to um, Ariana's. I don't know if it's her ex or her recent boyfriend. Pete I, Davidson. Yeah, I know. That's he, my man, good friend of mine. Yeah, I know he spoke about you know. Something about that recently. 
What mental health issues? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know it's very, it's very serious in hip hop today. You know what I'm I saying? I wrote so, a whole book about it. Yeah, man, I seen your book. I want to read it, man. I, I can't find it, but I want to give you a copy before you leave. Thank you, bro. I want to check it out. Uh, congratulations on that. Thank that you. That shit looked dope. I you like think, it. You think you deal with any mental health issues? I mean, I deal with anxiety. You know what mental I'm saying? Mental health issues. Issues. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I know uh, some niggas tried to kill me before. You know what I'm saying? So niggas, you probably got some PTSD. Yeah, niggas tried to rob me. I shot them niggas and shit. So like, well, we heard I, about it. it. Yeah, how'd you do it, man? That that was classic. So we heard about that it, video baby. We heard about that it. That was classic. Mm -hmm. No, I got a movie coming out. It's called Soldier Boy the Movie. Part two is called This Can't Be Real. And um, I want to send all three of y'all the link before I leave. And mm -hmm. y'all can watch it while I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Just don't post it on social media or nothing like that. Y'all check out the movie. They gave me $3 million for it. It's coming out this year in a all AMC theaters. Mm -hmm. And um, I explain the story in, in depth and detail. And they, you know, they show what happened. How did you avoid getting charges from that whole situation? It was self-defense, man. So basically the whole story was, boom, I was in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, this is a very serious topic. I know they turned it into a soldier boy challenge and everybody was laughing and joking, but I could have lost my life. They could have killed me, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Angela, no, because I came and told her this story right after it happened, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, when I was a teenager. And here we are 10 years later, and I'm re-explaining myself. 10-year challenge, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, I was in Atlanta. Some niggas kicked in the door. I looked out the door. I seen like five niggas running through my house with ski mask on with, with AK-47s. Where were you? You were inside? I was in the studio room. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They kicked in our side door <clears throat> in the kitchen. So when I, I looked, they didn't see me. So when I, when I cracked the door open, I seen like five niggas in all black with ski masks on with guns. So I just opened up the door and started shooting at all of them. What kind of guns you have? I had a Glock, like a 4-5 Glock pistol. Okay. I started shooting at all of them. The first nigga I missed, he ducked and ran out the house. The second nigga I hit him. The third nigga I hit him. I hit him like five times. I walked up to him, I put the gun behind his head. I was gonna blow his brains out. But I ain't wanna blow his I ain't wanna blow his brain all over my couch. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, fuck this shit. So I didn't shoot him. I took off his mask, I looked at him and I knew who he was. He was one of my homeboys, you know damn. what I'm saying? So it was an inside job. So got down, I was like, damn, that's fucked up. I I took the mask off, I shot him again, but I didn't shoot him in the head though. I didn't kill him. I shot him in the back. I went back in the room. I Can you say the, that? Is that legal? Yes. Like, I was, listen, I went back in the room, I shut the door. And um, the police came. The police got there. They asked me what happened. I said, some niggas ran in the house. I shot them. They said, you should have killed them. They said, in Atlanta, it's a self-defense law. If somebody come in your house, you can kill them. You can't do that while I stayed in L.A. and California. But in Atlanta, you could do that. The guns were clean. I bought them. They was registered. I went to the police uh I went to the police station. I did. I told them what happened. Niggas in the streets called me a snitch. They was like, man, you snitch because you told the police. I'm like, blood, I'm not, I'm not no snitch. I didn't have a choice. Once the police got there, they seen my whole house shot up and blood everywhere, and the dough kicked in. I had to say something. Right. Now, what I'm are saying? you supposed to say? So like, you don't know what happened? Five guys with AKs, none of them shot back? Nobody shot back. I was the only one doing shooting. And I shot at all of them. They all ran. I hit, I hit two of them. I would fuck one nigga up the worst. I was shot him in the elbow. Blew his whole arm up. I hit it when the when the bullet hit the back of his elbow. All the meat in his forearm came out. So you had forearm meat all in your living room. All over the ground. Yeah. I shot him in the back like two three times. I shot him in his ass. You know what I'm saying? One person. I, I didn't try to. Yeah, one nigga. I shot him like five times. And he ran away still. He was on no. He was on the ground. He was on. Okay. He was on the ground crawling in my living room like crawling. And I, and then that was it. So you had two dudes on the floor. No, one the, the other nigga I shot, he got out too. He ran, he got hit, but he kept running. It was five of them. So though. they caught him because he had to go to the hospital to get it fixed. I'm sure. Yeah, that's how it, you smart. So man. four got away. He got to the he got to the he got to the hospital, and then they had him on camera at the hospital. The, the police came to my house and showed me a picture from the hospital. He said, "Do you know this person?" And I knew it was him. And he was all shot up and shit. So I'm like, "Damn, that's the nigga I just shot up." So that's how I knew who it was. Mm -hmm. How many shots do you think you let off that night? I I emptied the whole clip, probably like, I don't know, whatever was in the clip. It wasn't no 30 clip, like a regular gun. So we're coming to regular 4 5 Glock. How many shots? Like 12? 12. How does that affect you letting people even be around you and be in your house, like even after that? Because I mean, that's traumatizing. It, it is traumatizing. It fuck you up, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you know, you got to, um, you gotta just know how to read people. Back then, I feel like I was young. I was real moving dumb, young with money. I became a millionaire at the age of 17. Mm -hmm. I was catapulted into fame and thrusted into stardom at a very early age. It's a lot to handle and process. You know what I'm saying? Coming from the streets and being broke from Section 8 and welfare and your lights being cut off and not getting nothing for Christmas and you going to school and all the kids got the new Jordans and you broke as fuck, you know, with pay less shoes on and shit. It come from that to making a million dollars like mm -hmm. the next year. 
that shit gonna fuck any kid up. You're gonna have plenty of mistakes. I think I did a, the best job as I could with all that money as uh, as their age. You know Taking care of people around you, what? letting people come over the crib. What? Is that why you moved to LA? Wow. Is that why you got out later after the shoot out? Stuff? Yeah. yeah, I moved like that same day. Like like the next day I woke up, I flew to LA. I never I, and I was gone. You should have had video of that though, cause you said you had cameras all through the house, right? Soldier Boy the movie. This can't be real. Oh, so you got Damn. the video. <laughs> they got the video. That's the only way I'm gonna believe this shit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Oh so. uh, no, nah, just dude uh, is dead, man. What do you mean? That's the only way. <laughs> oh, the dude died. AMC Theaters, man. Oh, the dude did die. AMC Theaters. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he died. AMC You're getting the link Theaters. today, so you could watch it. Yeah, I'll send it to you right now. Let me show you a clip. <laughs> I'll send it to you while yeah, we talk. Please show me a clip of you shooting at some people, soldier. Yo, Charla. Yo, you crazy, show man. <laughs> what? You oh, crazy, can't see it. <laughs> nah, it's cool. I mean, that's cool, though. But I, I was just, so young right? no, no, listen, 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 to listen. him forever. Yeah, yeah, listen. I had to save my life. I had mm -hmm. to save Arab life. I had to save Jabbar life. And I had to save Killer life. All of them was It was else. three of us, and it was me plus three. Arab was in the studio with me. Killer was in the living room. And Jabbar, SODMG, my artist, he was, he was there, too. Nobody All, else had a pistol? I was the only one with a gun. Damn. All three of them can attest to this and tell you this story, but you're going to see it on my movie when it come out, though. You know what I'm saying? AMC Theaters. But, goddamn, I had to do that, bro. I had to shoot them niggas, Charlemagne. They would have killed me, bro. I ain't mad Ima at you. Imagine if I wanted to start shooting. If five niggas with guns, they probably would have tied us up. You know what I'm saying? Did all type of shit to us, bro. I didn't have no choice. I just started shooting. I ain't even thinking nothing. I just started shooting. I'm not shooting. mad at you. I you know the same saying? thing. And, goddamn, they tried to kidnap my nigga Jabbar. They grabbed him and was holding him. They grabbed him like this and was holding him with the gun like this, trying to back out the house so they wouldn't get hit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to shoot and not hit this nigga. So you trying so to shoot up. around Jabbar? Yeah. yeah so crazy. where was Jabbar? If he was in the studio with y'all, he no, can't. No, a -Rab he was, was in the studio. Jabbar was in the kitchen with Killer. It was two people in the kitchen. Gotcha. It was one person in the studio with me, me and a -Rab. And that's what happened. Was he eating or something? The other nigga was holding. Yeah, Killer was making a sandwich. A sandwich? What kind? He was make, no, he was making some noodles. He was making some oodles and noodles. Oh, that's okay, okay, okay. What's up with A-Rap? A a a he chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he kicked back off the music, bro. He just living, you know, doing him. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes music ain't for everybody. This what? was a passion of mine from the beginning. I really loved and wanted to do this shit. A-Rap, I kind of made him rap. He was just like my little partner. I made him do this shit. I put him on. He didn't want to do this shit. Nigga had a million dollar deal on the table with Jimmy Iovine and Interscope, and he didn't want to sign it. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of shit. Like he ain't want. He ain't want to. Wasn't it? Wasn't shit. in his heart. He, he ain't want to do it. Now what do you? Now how do you move in L.A.? Because L.A. is just as crazy. I, but I love the difference L.A. Is you can't. You're not allowed legally to have your own pistol. I love L.A. and that's the worst part. You know what I'm saying? I can't have no gun. Security. You just mm. gotta have security. Yeah. All the time. I don't know what to do. You know, I was thinking about it the other day because I'm like, yo, I got lucky in Atlanta. I shot them niggas and got off with it. If I would have did that in L.A., I would probably still be in jail right now. Mm. Why did you Why did you walk through the hood that time? And you, the, the whole it's, who said Big Soldier ain't from, from the, the hood? hood? Who said Big Soldier ain't from the hood, <laughs> man? Now um, that's my hood for real. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my hood. It was just another day, and you know that's Compton though. Yeah, you're not Bom from Compton. I am from Bompton. You from Compton? Yeah, I'm from Bompton. Yeah. I thought you're from Mississippi somewhere. Nah, nah, I'm from Bompton. I'm from California, Bompton. Yeah. How? What you mean how? Where you from? South Carolina? Yeah. yeah. How you from there? I was born and raised there. <laughs> okay, believe that. You was born in Compton? No, nah, I was born in Chicago. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so how, I'm saying, saying. how is bumped in your hood? It's my hood, nigga. That's where I'm from. So what happened when um that situation went down? Like, what happened when the oh, phone went man, down? Oh, man, I just went in the hood. I was chilling in the hood. It was another day. And um, this when the whole Chris Brown beef was going on. So we chilling in my hood, and this nigga... I'm with all my niggas, it's like 30 of us. So we posted in the hood, we just chilling and shit. I'm like, man, fuck, fuck Chris Brown, you know, woo woo. This back when the beef going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm on Instagram Live. So, um, you know, this nigga Chris Brown, he fuck with my hood too, you know what I'm saying? He fuck with my hood and shit too. So he called one of the homies and, um, damn, who on there? <laughs> you already started. Oh, tripping, oh man, just, uh, shit. Somebody sent them, you know what I'm saying? Somebody sent the little nigga to do a little, his little thing. He's supposed to, he's supposed to punch me. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to knock me out, but he ain't do it. You Did he hit saying? you? He didn't hit me. I put my arm around him, and he pushed my arm off of him. And then that, that was, was it. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, recently, your car also got stuck in a mudslide. Yeah, I almost lost my life, yeah. That was it. Listen, all these incidents happening. So tell me what happened and what that experience was like and how you got out. Man, God is good, man. It was scary as fuck. I'm, you know, I, I'm not used to no shit like that. I ain't never seen no weather like that. So I'm driving. We in a BMW. It's dark. It's raining. The roads start flooding. You know what I'm saying? So the road start flooding. You know, like, you know when the road start flooding, it get up to where you can't even, your car start sliding and shit. So mind you, we right, I live in Malibu by the water. So I live like, we was at the bottom of the mountain. So the shit was falling, mud, mud and rocks was falling from the mountain because of all the rain. 
It went under the car. When it went under the car, my car got stuck in the mud slide. So my tires were spinning. I couldn't move no more. Once my tires were spinning, the wa- it was raining so much, the water started rising up, rising up. When the water started rising up, it started coming in the window, flooding the car. You know what I'm saying? So I jumped out the sunroof. I opened the sunroof up. I got out the sunroof. I stood on top of the car. It was like 50 cars this way and 50 the cars that way. But they, it was it was like 15 feet between us. Nobody could get to us because it was a circle. It was weird. If you go to like CNN or Time Magazine, Google Soldier Boy, whatever, they showed a picture. And it was like a mud shit around it. And I couldn't get out of it. So I stood on the sunroof. The water was up, like going in the car. I jumped off the car. When I jumped off the car in the, in the water, the shit came up to like my belly button. And the water was pushing you. Mind you, we right beside the ocean. So the car down there about to go in the ocean. That's how strong the current pushing Damn. the shit. You by yourself? I was with three of my two of my homies. It was three of us together. How'd they get up? They all came out the sunroof. They followed me. Soon I'm glad I did that too, cause we was finna die. I had a moment in my head where I was just like, yo, it's over. I ain't never seen no shit like this. I'm like, we locked in the mud, the water going up. I was like, this I was like, damn, it's over with. Then something just clicked in my head. I was like, bro, you know what? You got too much to live for, bro. What your, what my mama gonna do? What my little brother and my sister and my cousin, auntie, uncles and cousin, everybody gonna do if I die right now? I got too many people depending on me. Boom! I snapped and just opened the sunroof. I jumped out of the sunroof, jumped in the water. The water came up to my belly button. It started pushing me, and I just kept running, running, running. When I got you to you was the, running through the water, running through the water, swimming really. And then when I got to the end of the water, the police grabbed me, and it was like five of them. They put a raincoat on me, threw me in the paramedics, and then the next day, that shit was all so over the news. The people in the car just followed you. You followed your lead. My two homies, yup, they followed everything I did. And I got us out of there. I let what us out of there. If they don't cast you I was as going the new home. James Bond, then people I mean, ain't, then mm-hmm. Hollywood ain't doing the right thing. Yeah, so. man, it's a true story, man. It was all over. I was on Time Magazine, bro. I never made Time Magazine my whole career. So what happened to you? Was your house all right and everything else all right? My house almost burned down like two weeks before that and that Woosley fire shit. Yeah. And Damn. A lot of uh, Lil Pump house burnt down. I met with Robin Thicke. He, me and him real cool. His house burnt down. Um, a lot of people was affected by that fire. My house... It came in inches. Like I could leave y'all a picture to it. That it was like inches. Literally, all my trash cans burnt down. Um, like the front of my house, the side of my house, everything is, was burnt, but nothing touched my house. Are you back in the house? Was you now? in the house? Yeah, I'm in the house. Everything they came and, and fixed everything. The the state and the you know the government workers and everything. They got fixed all the fire and ash and did. A, it was crazy. Why man. didn't you try to like put the fire out in the neighborhood? I was. <laughs> you funny, Charlotte. But I was gone. I went to Atlanta. I had to evacuate my house. Cause when I went outside, the fire was so intense, it was burning my eyes, and it was like, wasn't even close, it was far. The whole sky was red and dark. It was like 11 in the morning. This That's was a, crazy, all this these was natural disasters. In LA, then uh, like a week before that, we had a shooting like right at the at the bar. And like, you know, Tia Tamira's sister, sister? Mm-hmm. They little sister died in that shooting. That's right, they were talking So it's like, it. I don't know what the fuck going on in LA. I might come over to New York. Yeah. I like it out here. Just cold, but yeah. I like it out here, I see why y'all out here now, this shit dope. <laughs> well, you not- like it out here, Charlotte? How you like living in New York? Um, he ready to go back to. I mean, I live in I, I live in Jersey. Jersey's more like country, you know. So you see deers and stuff in What's Jersey suburban? in the woods yeah. and. How far is Jersey from New York? Drive? It's right here. Yeah, it's, it's like depends. Depends where you live in Jersey. It's literally okay. seven. There's a part of like Jersey. Totally oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. It depends though. Okay, so if I moved out here, I probably would be in Jersey. Jersey, yeah, you'd be okay. okay. Yeah, you live in Jersey. I live in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Okay. Now, including yourself, who are the top five artists to ever come out of Compton? To ever come out of Compton, bro. That's hard, bro. Dr. Dre. Easy E. Uh, I don't know, man. You got Dre, Easy, Soldier Boy, the game. Game and fucking YG, probably like. Kendrick, playing Kendrick, Kendrick from, Compton? from Compton? Yeah, Kendrick. Why don't you collaborate with more Compton artists? Me and Game got a, got a records. You know what I'm saying? I'm on Game last album. Check that out. Mm-hmm. Uh, nigga said they gonna kill me. Me, him, Yo Gotti, 2 Chains, um, T.I., you know what I'm saying? Uh, me and Blueface, we about to. Y'all heard of Blueface? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a whack artist. Yeah, I just. Huh? That's whack artist. Oh, shit. You don't like Blueface? No, that's he said that's a whack artist. artist. That's oh, whack. I, thought, I thought you were saying he's a whack artist. No, I thought he said that too. I was like, wow, Charlotte. Yeah, no, whack 100. That's yeah. whack 100's <laughs> artist. Yeah, y'all y'all like Blueface? Um, I haven't really heard him. I, I heard some like some freestyles in the car. He sound pretty uh, Yeah, I, I ain't heard no music music, though. I like him. I like him. I'm a fan. I met him. and um, I'm, Me and him got some shit coming out, too. Mm-hmm. Now, what happened with Kanye? You went on went Kanye the other day? <laughs> what happened with Kanye? No, he's just saying he didn't know him when he was 16 years old. He didn't know who Kanye was. Yeah, I was just telling the story. Like, Y'all want me to tell it again? Yeah, you didn't want to let him in the trailer? What happened? Yeah, so um, Kanye. Oh, you're front on Kanye. You said you want me to soldier? tell it again? Okay, how did I get on? How did I get on? Let me figure out how I got to You were saying to, that Kanye. Um, but how did I get to that? Because it started with Tiger. And then, I think you said Kanye wasn't a big comeback. Something about his wax No, you were saying that Kanye got his whole cockiness from you. 
Yeah, so oh, look, you go. so look, this is what happened. See how he turned up? I like he just. Yeah. So look, look, yeah. niggas talk about Con- niggas talking about Kanye. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nigga, I'm that nigga. I'm the nigga. Mm-hmm. Kanye came in here talking about I'm Walt Disney and I'm what did he say to you, Charlotte? I'm Walt oh. Disney. I'm Steve Jobs. Nigga, you ain't none of that. Then why you ain't come out? <laughs> why you ain't come out with shit? Then I came out with a whole video game console, bro. I'm the first rapper to do that in history, bro. You ain't Walt Disney. You ain't none of that, bro. You you kissed them folks ass at Louis Vuitton and you kissed them folks ass at Adidas and you came out with two pair of goofy ass tennis shoes. Say white folks. Don't just say folks. Them crackers. Hey, and got down. Big Draco. And that, and that ain't and that ain't that ain't that ain't enough, bro. I'm younger than you. I'm flyer than you, nigga. Whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You crying, <laughs> you crying on you crying on Twitter every week about Drake. Well, you gotta stop that shit, bro. You look lame, bro. You look cap, bro. And real street niggas and young kids like me and young degeneration, we looking at you like you goofy, bro. You up here supporting Trump and shit, bro. You nope. supporting Trump, bro? What the fuck wrong with you, bro? That shit not right, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I just sat back long enough, and I'm not holding my tongue no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Kanye, call me, bro. Get in tune with me, because if not, I'm start, I'm going to keep checking you, bro. You know what I'm saying? For real. Tr- uh, Trump, you need to stop supporting Trump, bro. That's cap, bro. That's not right, bro. My folks went through too much shit for you to be out here doing this goofy shit. My granddaddy been through too much. My grandmama and my great-granddaddy, and they from Mississippi, and we went through slavery and shit, bro. So you can't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta put on for the black community, bro. The shit not right. You too famous. Your voice too big. Don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? We need Barack Obama back in office again, bro. I know he did eight years. We need another four years because this shit that Trump doing ain't right, bro. And you the top. You supposed to be the god of hip-hop and all this goofy shit. And you backing this nigga, bro. That shit ain't funny, my nigga. You out here wearing a Trump hat and shit talking about Trump. and Bro, that shit lame as hell, bro. Everybody got their, their own opinion and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Entitled to their own opinion. But you know what you're doing, bro. And that shit not funny, bro. It's not... You know what I'm saying? You out here trolling and shit, doing songs with 6 9 y'all getting shot at and shit. That's why, because you're doing all this goofy shit, bro. Keep it real. I'm really in the streets all the time. I'm really tapped in with the hood. I really know what's going on out here. That's why I'm collabing with all these new young artists. I'm the first one finding these artists before they get big, because I'm really tuned in with the streets. I'm the nigga to go find the unsigned artists, and then all you niggas in the industry watch me and go collab with them. That's what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? So Trump, man, gone with that cap-ass shit. Whoever a Democrat and whoever holding it down for my black community and going to do something for my people, that's who I'm voting for. And and Kanye, you ain't none of that shit, bro. What you think of 6ix9ine? You mentioned 6ix9ine. You're not Walt Disney. You're not Steve Jobs. Could you Steve stop interrupting Jobs. Draco's rant, please? You're not like, um, <laughs> none of that shit that you claim to be until you show me. You know what I'm saying? Only thing you did was come up with some pair of tennis shoes, and them shit's ugly, and they cost too much, bro. You never had a pair of Yeezys? Yes, but the good pair of looking <laughs> ones, the, Ni- the Nikes. All them Adidas, the new ones, them shit's ugly as fuck, bro. All that Yeezy clothes, that shit ugly, bro. Have you ever voted? Yes, I voted for Barack Obama, man. Nigga, YouTube it. Soldier Boy vote. I, <laughs> I, I support this shit, bro. I really, Barack Obama follow me on Twitter, bro. His daughters are fans of my music. They like me and Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? I'm in tune with the. I'm not. This not no joke for me, bro. I'm really. So what did you think about Six Nine and all the trolling he was doing and where it got him? What did you think about that? I don't think nothing about it, bro. He Six Nine is nothing but a soldier boy child. He got all that shit from me. When I was beefing with Chris Brown and Migos and Charlotte Buff and everybody in the industry, Six mm-hmm. Nine came out and just did the same thing I did. Now he's sitting in jail looking crazy, bro. You know, but that's the route we thought you was headed. No, for a while. I'm smarter than that, bro. Cause you I'm, was doing the same type I'm, of dumb I'm, shit. I'm, I know, Charlotte. Yeah, go ahead. I'll, Kick it to me. Yeah, he was doing the same type <laughs> of wild, dumb shit. And I said, if Soldier don't slow down, he going to end up in jail or dead. Either you was going to hurt somebody or somebody's going to hurt you. Right. Thank God that didn't happen. Didn't happen. Yes, sir. But God is good. God is good. But yeah. when you look at somebody like 6 9 do you ever say to yourself, damn, that could have been me. That could have been me. Yeah. But I know how to move. I thought he knew what he was doing. But every every since I thought he knew what he was doing. I'm gonna leave it at that. I ain't gonna speak too much on him, you know, because it's a delicate situation. It's a delicate, you know. So free six nine. I would never wish on no man to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't wish that on nobody, bro. Nigga can't be with his family, his kids, all that money he missed. You know how much money he missing right now on shows? Hell yeah, a lot. Tons Do you understand that? Millions. Hell I don't yeah. think y'all understand how much money That's six nine losing right now. Of the shows he's not making, which he clearly can't make. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like I wouldn't wish that on nobody, but at the same time, I'm not impressed. Cause nigga, all you did was what I did, but you ain't even do it right. Cause you in jail right now. All right, now, soldier boy, you are on marriage boot camp. Does that mean you are considering marriage? 
yes, I definitely am considered marriage. You think you could be with one woman for the rest of your life? Yeah. So you're going to stay out of these women's DMs? Because i seen no. uh, you're saying <laughs> you be DMing these chicks and they hit you back. And well, if you get married, you got to stay evidence. out of women's DMs. If I get married, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna talk, I thought she said about right now. If I get married, yeah. But how are you going to get married if you don't stop it now? Why would somebody, why would she want to be with you? Because we're not married yet. But how are you supposed to get to that point? We're going to get there. <laughs> You'll know when you find that one that you makes you want to stay out of other girls' DMs. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you see how you hurt her feelings? And you got to watch you... the show, Ange. I watched the first episode so far, so I'm just going okay. off of what oh, I've seen okay. so okay. far. Okay. Man, when you're young and you're in the industry and you got money and you're successful, it's groupies. They exist. You know what I'm saying? They'll do anything just to, for the clout. But yeah. you're smart, and you're smarter than that now. I'm smarter than that now, and that's why I went on the TV show Marriage Boot Camp, so I could be the best me I could be mm -hmm. and try to, you know, this is Teddy Riley's daughter, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, <laughs> I got to be on tip top behavior for this shit is real, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying my best, man. Has he stepped to you, Teddy, Teddy Riley stepped to you? <laughs> Heavy. What, what man, yes, say? sir, man, just like, you know, take care of his daughter and, you know, am I going to be able to, you know, how, am I going to be able to handle the pressure? I told him, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So all you got is your word, you know, so I'm, I'm trying my best, bro. Hmm. I'm trying my best, Envy. You think musically you on Teddy Riley level? Man, I think Teddy Riley is a legend. He produced for Michael Jackson and shit like that. We from two different cultures, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm from the New Wave. I produced on FL Studio. He probably was in there with live band instruments and with yo, come on, man. You you know? Have you ever said, hey, I would like to do something with Teddy Riley? Man, I would love that. Did you ever approach him about nah, it? Nah, man. This too, you know, it's too, <laughs> no, he that's family, so I don't even wanna That makes even more <laughs> sense. Yeah, but you know, you just like y'all collaborate, him, do a song yeah, called Yeah, now Year we together. we talk though, like we talk about music and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna, you know, I can't have. I'll be making trap music and shit. I can't have Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley can do something. <laughs> yes, he can. I'm sure Teddy can do it. Now, now, why you got a Rich Gang tattoo? I forgot about that wave. When was that? I'm Rich Gang. That was um living the lifestyle. 2014. Thug, me, me, Young Thug, and Rich Homie Corn. We had a group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember. I don't remember Told Your Boy being a part no, of it. I remember. So I thought it was Birdman. I remember Birdman. Nah, YouTube, Rich, YouTube, my Rich nigga. Everything is in everything. Type in Soldier Boy, Rich, Soldier Boy Rich, Rich Gang. So you were signed to them? Or? Yeah, yeah. Me, Rich, Rich Homie Corn, and Young Thug. What happened? That was the group. We just split up. You still keep in contact with them though? Yeah, I talk to Birdman. I talk. I see Corn. I'll be seeing. We do shows and Thug. That's why I sell. That's slime. Mm -hmm. Is Soldier Boy happy? I'm so happy right now, Charlotte. Okay. I'm the happiest I ever been my whole career, man. It's a blessing. You know, I went through a point where I thought it was over with for me, bro. No cap. Like, I was like, bro, it's over for me. I done fucked up. Like, damn. And now, like, I'm back with Avengers. Every rapper fucking with me. Y'all see Meek Mill post me on his page yesterday. Y'all see Trippy Red. Y'all see. Uh, well, hold on, soldier. A lot of them are laughing at you now. No, that's cool. No. No, it's, it's it's cool because I don't have beef with nobody no more. All publicity yeah. is good publicity. Meek Mill, whoever, if they laughing at me, I love it. You know what I'm saying? But most of the the, the rappers that's doing it, them is my homies. Like Trippy, that's my homie. Yeah. That's an inside joke. YB and Almighty J, that's my homie. We talk every day. That was an inside joke. Tory Lanez, that's my homie. We talk every day. That's an inside joke. Uh, Meek Mill, I don't know him like that. He posted it. He may be laughing at me, but well, I don't, he was saying. I, I think he was saying his words. I mean, your words really reflect. Him, because he, he feel like oh. he had the biggest comeback. He had to be, yeah. Of 2018. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had the biggest comeback. Not of really. Though. I mean, you because I mean, you, See, you, I think it was me. Yeah, I don't you, think Tiger. It's, we talking about music. We, locked, we talk about what is the industry, music industry. Oh, you're a music artist. Oh, music, musically. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you're not disrespecting me. You just kicking facts. Oh, you kicking your opinion? <laughs> no, no, yes. listen, 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 listen. I said never. No, listen, Charlotte. Listen, Charlotte. Is that an opinion or is that a fact? I would think it's, it's a fact. Opinion. No, ain't I no think goddamn a, fact. These it, are all opinions. It's a fact when it comes music. Why? I, I, musically. Why, 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 Stop why, all that yelling in here now. <laughs> why did Meek Mill have a bigger comeback than Soldier Boy? What me personally? Why? Because he was locked up. Yes. Okay, so he, I was locked up too, nigga. They came up with a number one record. The Drake beef. He, no, a what were, one single? What record one was record. number one? Huh? What record was number one? Dangerous. His whole album went number no, one. No, championship. Single Dangerous was number one. Reached number okay, one. there we His go. First number one ever. That was a nice record. Yeah. And Championship number was the number that was one a nice album record. in the country. And the album was a nice album, but he ain't had no big comeback. And look how, and look how he yo, crossed. Yo, look how he crossed. Yo, over. Meek Mill ain't beef for Chris Brown and was finna box with Floyd Mayweather. He beat with Drake, the biggest rapper in the world. <laughs> These niggas, <yeah>, Drake, <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga that got body by Pusha T? The nigga that's hiding his kid from the world, but his world wanna hide from the kid? Arby Graham in the wheelchair. Drake! Yes! 
Y'all niggas better stop playing with me. <laughs> Y'all talking about the light skinned nigga from the generous? From Toronto. Yo, stop playing with me. From where? <laughs> the grassy. Not stop the playing me like I ain't teach Drake everything he know. <laughs> Hold on, you taught Drake everything he know. Y'all didn't hear Drake on with his first song. Tell me what's really going on. Drizzy Drake back in this thing already. What's hand- That's oh, soldier. Shit. That's oh, my bar. Shit. He copied my oh, whole fucking shit. flow. That's kiss me through the phone. He copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. Oh. Don't act shit. like I didn't. Make Drake, nigga, don't do that. Mind fucking wow. blown. Don't oh, do that, nigga. Shit. I was son niggas in a heartbeat. Don't oh, do that. Wow. Shit. Drake, RB? The nigga with, who I made, nigga, we made it with in 2014? Who we made? Wow. Don't do that. Has he ever reached out to you? <laughs> Drake? Yeah. I took the Drake all the time. Yo, who y'all think I am in here? Mm. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Y'all niggas crazy, But bro. people can say that Yo, you got, seen, let me see you got your nickname nah. from Drake, though. Oh, what? Draco? Draco. No, nah, nigga. My first name is Dre. My middle name is Cortez. The first name of my name is Dre. The first two letters is C-O. Draco. Ooh. Oh. There you go. Oh, I'm oh, finna show you the movie. I'm finna show you the movie. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> what I'm talking about? <laughs> Fucking big Draco, nigga. You better show some who goddamn number, respect. Who number I send it to? What's your number? Who got a number? I ain't giving Type you my name. number, nigga. I don't want you bothering me. <laughs> hey, B, what's your number? <laughs> it's the last nigga I want FaceTime me. I want y'all just start. I want y'all to watch just like a minute of the movie before I yeah. Just tell me what y'all think. All right. Well, last before, hey, before you iPad. do that, Schoolboy yeah. Q is looking for you. You know that, right? Who I'm texting? Who I'm texting it to? Text Shout him. out Schoolboy Q. He just DM. Yo, read his DM. He's looking for you. What he want from me? He wants you at Kessel. That nigga looking for you. That nigga video. want you on his Schoolboy album. Q, in his video. Who, who I just texted the movie to? He sent it to Envy. <laughs> right. I didn't get it. Envy, I'm finna send you the password right now. All right. Load it up real quick. Y'all just watch the first minute, bro. I ain't get it yet. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, don't, don't send that to nobody. I got a copy and paste it. It's your number. It's an 803 number, right? That's me, man. That's him. Oh, that's you. Charlotte, load the movie up, Charlotte. Let's the 201 I'm look at it right now. Hey, everybody pass the phone around and type their number in. <sighs> and don't be FaceTiming us for no type reason type now. Type your number in and hit pace. <laughs> type your number Hold in on. and hit pace. I'm oh. about to, I'm going to send this Yo, to Yo, uh, when I leave, DM me all y'all address so I can send y'all the soldier consoles for y'all kids or, you know, whoever. All right, here. Hey. Hold on. Y'all got it? All right, load the movie up. I'm about to send So, yeah, shout out right Schoolboy Q, man. Let me pull up the DM. Let me see what he wanted. He, he said he wants you in his video. He wants his video? What, like a cameo? I think so. He don't know. He don't All right, here you go. What'd he say? <laughs> he said, um, for sure, cuz, Big Draco. Yes, sir, Big Soldier. What it do, nephew? I just finished my album. I got this video of my N-word. I want you to go up and clown with me in it. Okay, so you are right. He did want to do a video. Just want to just, yeah, you all good. No, yeah. no problems. You hot right now, Big Draco. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> Free go. My new mixtape, Free Go, is out right now. It's out right now? Yo, the funniest thing just happened. I signed a single deal with E1, right? Why? For my new song, Hit My Line. Because cause for niggas like you, musically, Meek Mill has to come back and nigga it up. So I'm trying to come back, nigga. So I signed a single deal. Goddamn. Oh so goodness. look, I got Hit My Line. I put it out. I dropped this new mixtape called Free Go two days ago. The global president called yesterday morning and said that they want to do the whole album. They're going to do the album deal. So I'm lit. The album is coming. Y'all stay tuned. You know tuned. who else you fronting on? Who's, Who's that? Lil Duval. Lil Duval. 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 I'm living my best life. That was, a, <laughs> that, was a <laughs> that was the number one what record. That was the number one record. When he came back, oh, y'all still want me? Y'all still going around about this comeback shit? He's yes, still we want some it. music, but man. But why? That's not a comeback. Yo, YouTube Soldier Boy hit my line. Yo, go, go look at the last mixtape on my mixtape, Soldier Boy Free Go. I got Lil Mosey on there. He doing 70 million views in a month. Y'all heard of Lil Mosey? The nah. 16 year old kid? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. My son listen to him. Exactly. Hey, what about you Your son listen to him, right? Yeah, He's on my new mixtape. This shit going viral. Y'all just got to tune in. It's, it's another world. Oh, yeah, I did an endorsement deal with Fashion Nova. Shout out Fashion Nova. They cut that check. That's shout Fashion Nova. Yeah. yeah, shout out Cardi B. Uh, 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 They cut the check, cousin. 10 million, 20? You know what Oh, he watching it. You turn, told me, and you tell me to watch it. Up. You ain't said it to me. Why you Charlamagne? watching it without the audio? Why Charlamagne? you touch my shoulders all intimate? <laughs> Charlamagne, you, send me the link. Do it like that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, Soldier Boy, we appreciate you for joining man, us. Thank man, thank you, Envy. I'm out, man. Love y'all. Drake gonna right, bust right, your ass go. too. Man, me and Drake can catch hands, nigga, right now. One on one, nigga. I ain't scared of no damn Drake. All right. Well, it's the Breakfast Club with Soldier Boy.